everybody, Gavin Syme here, just uh, going live. It is Friday. I'm down here in uh, Mako, and pop in there, hit that like button. What's going on down here is pretty huge today. It's huge in the news. I'm sure you're hearing this in the USA. If you're not, you're gonna be seeing it in all your Facebook feeds. You're gonna be seeing it in all your news feeds. You're gonna see the president talking about it, and there's gonna be a ton of propaganda spun off from this. And I want you guys to hear it here first. Hey, everybody, good to see you. Pop into that live stream and spread the word and, uh, and, and, and just keep, keep spreading the truth. All right, that's what we're here for. That's what we're gonna talk about today. And I'm gonna show you guys a couple of clips. I'm gonna put some links after the video's over. I'll put some links. Uh, major happenings down here in Mako around the border. So uh, here's what's going on. There's a caravan. A caravan is not all that uncommon. Uh, immigrants, let's say from Honduras, will get together. There's uh, uh, freedom-minded organizations like Sin Fronteras and things like that that are sick and tired of people being abused over immigration restrictions. And so they'll help organize these marches, basically, where people that want to immigrate will come as a group because there's safety in numbers, right? Okay, so this is not the first time this has even happened this year. It's just the other one kind of disappeared off the news cycle because there was nothing they could do about it. So there's another one of these caravans and all the fake tree Trump worshiping statists are all like, oh, well, George Soros did this. In reality, the NWO agenda is your walls and your borders and your immigration restrictions. They're feeding the slaves exactly what they want them to repeat. And then they're going out and repeating it and saying it's patriotism. And they're not patriots. Let's get one thing straight so we don't have to argue about it today. If you support impeding people's travel as a human being, Right? Regardless of borders or locations or whatever, the public land is the public land, right? You can build a gate around your private property, your house, your country is not. People have the right to travel. They have the right to travel in human rights, in natural law, in God's law, and in our constitutions, including the U.S. and the Mexican Constitution. In fact, the Constitution de Mexico in uh, Articulo 11 specifically says that people are not to need papers to travel within the republic okay but let's move on to what's happening today and i'm going to show you guys a few things here but i just wanted to establish that because you don't have the right to impede anyone's travel unless they're physically violating you or someone else real crime right unless that's happening you have no right to stop them and because of that you have no right to give the government the right to stop them and because of that the government has zero right to restrict immigration that's why our constitutions forbid immigration restricting that's why our founding fathers didn't even attempt it because the idea was absurd in fact in the usa if you read the declaration one of the reasons that we fought the the, the american revolution was restriction of immigration by England. Another topic for another day. Let's look at what's happening now. Okay, so Donald Trump, fast forward, right? I've just laid the groundwork. Now fast forward, there's this caravan, which is not an unusual thing. These caravans travel in numbers, so they don't get molested so much by the immigration nonsense. These people want to go have a better life. Now you might say, well, why do they want to go to the U.S.? I think that as well. A lot of them don't actually get to the U.S. They realize the U.S. is not where they want to be and they stop in Mexico or something like that, right? So what happens is a lot of them realize the propaganda on the way up and never go all the way to the U.S. Anyway, this caravan is coming across. Donald Trump's been freaking out because, of course, he's the fascist in chief. He's blue ISIS in chief, okay? And so he's telling Guatemala and Mexico, hey, I'm going to stop giving you guys money if you don't stop these immigrants. Okay, so the USA, and you need to understand this if you're from the United States. The United States is, is quite literally taking your tax money and using it to pay other countries to abuse immigrants. That's how evil and anti-freedom our nation and those who back such things have become. So this caravan comes to Mexico today. And Mexico, and this is pretty aggressive for Mexico. Generally, it doesn't work this way. But Trump has been pushing. So Guatemala tries to stop them, and Mexico tries to stop them from entering. Let's look at what happened, because what happened today was amazing. And here's, here's a test for you. If you see what I'm about to show you, and you think that the immigrants are the bad guys, you think they should have been stopped, you think the government is the good guys, if you see what I'm about to show you, and you think, oh, wow, those immigrants, they're violating the law, then you're a loyalist. Okay, you're a slave. You have no idea what freedom is. And that's a, this is a very sound measure, right? We always debate about gun rights and speech rights, and these are good things, because these are rights. But 
the major, if, if what you're about to see makes you angry, it's because you have no idea what freedom is. If it makes you angry at the immigrant. Thank you all. Okay, let's look here. So uh, there's a lot of articles on this. This is getting, this is big news. This just happened a few hours ago, guys. And um, I'm going to link some articles on like re RT. There's about 4,000 people in this current caravan. Okay, these 4,000 people and, and the Macon government tried to block the border entrance. Okay, so let's look at what happened. Uh, this is just a small clip from the moment of truth, as it were. And I'll put some, again, I'll put links when we're done. This is how they handled a blockade at the border. And there's the fences trying to block the immigrant from traveling and down they go an income for thousand people exactly as is their right and I'm gonna stop this I'll link this video so you guys can watch the whole thing all right now this is a crowd of, of women and children you can see the babies don't let people dis dis distract you with the NWO propaganda of oh these are just paid young criminals Total nonsense. These are Hondurans looking for a better life. There's tons of photos and you can see them with their babies and you can see the federales trying to get aggressive, right? Federal police here. So they sent the army down here. They sent the federal police to try and stop them. This is how you deal. This is how you deal with a rogue government and the rogue patriot loyalist traders who are trying to stop free travel and immigration. You ignore them. Now, from what I can tell, this was mostly peaceful. I'm sure there was some roughing up because the police, of course, were down there to commit crimes against humanity, okay? Just like they do in the US every time we cross the border, okay? Just like everyone supports, that supports a wall. These are fascists, these are new Berliners. That's what I'm gonna start calling the people that want walls, that pretend a wall gives you a nation. The sovereignty of your nation has nothing to do with whether you molest immigrants or whether you have walls. That's absolutely absurd. Our founding fathers knew that it was absolutely absurd. And that's why our founding fathers were clear that the borders were to be open. Uh, and it's affirmed not only in the founding discussions, but in the Fourth Amendment, you have a right to travel. And the government and the Constitution in the USA has zero right to restrict immigration in any fashion. So understand that anyone who's supporting a wall, these are not patriots, okay? And it's start, important to start understanding the difference. These people out there waving flags and calling themselves patriots while they back walls and they back ar arresting immigrants and kidnapping and robbing and for-profit prisons, these people are traitors to the USA. They're traitors to human freedom, most importantly. If you support the wall, if you support the people being abused, you're not a patriot. You don't love freedom. You don't love the Constitution. You don't love Jesus and his command to love your neighbor as yourself. You're a fraud, okay? There's no such thing as an illegal alien. It doesn't exist. You can't find it in our founding documents. You can't find it in natural law. You can't find it from our founding fathers. If you think this is an invasion, you have no idea what an invasion is because we are being invaded by our government and its globalist NWO agenda to lock us in walls if you support that garbage, guys, you're a New Berliner, okay? So welcome to New Berlin. <laughs> the wall is to lock you in. But these 4,000 immigrants, let's look at some other clips here. Here's one here. I want you to look at how different Latin Americans, and this speaks to their freedom. Obviously, it'd be better to not have to do this, right? So let's look. Here's another angle as they're crossing over. You see here, these are federales, okay? These are federales. I've actually been to events where federales were dressed up like this, but it's not like in the USA where cops just get to shoot people. These people are saying, no, we have our rights and we're not gonna tolerate this. And they simply barrel through the police. They push them out of the way. Look at this. Eventually, the police just stand aside, okay? This is, this is how much more, you guys. The police are surrounded and getting out of the way. And it's important to understand this. This is how you deal with terrorist thugs. Not with violence, not with hate. You simply push out of the way and ignore them. Now look, I know there's a lot of people. I don't want to be hating on all my, everybody in here, right? I know there's a lot of people that don't yet understand this, right? You've bought into the border propaganda. Even I used to buy into that to some degree, right? Then I started looking, then I started studying our founding fathers and the fact that they were clear on the idea that you couldn't restrict uh, borders, travel and immigration, right? Then I came to Mexico and I saw what it looks like. I saw how absolutely outrageous. And if you stop and put on your reason cap for just a minute, set aside the propaganda and the BS, I, can't, I can think of few things more ridiculous than the idea 
that the government has a right to stop you or anyone else from traveling and working and feeding your family and surviving. That's not the role of government, any government. The government has no lawful authority to restrict immigration. A sovereign border has nothing to do with whether you let people walk across to live, work, eat, etc. That's not a sovereign border. So you can have your national identity. But see, if you go back in our history, the founding fathers knew that a sovereign border had nothing to do with whether they let immigrants in. There was no intent to stop immigrants. It was forbidden in the Constitution, and it still is. See, that's the fact. And people get really angry when I bring this up because they cannot address the facts. They can't address the facts of the Constitution. They say they're patriots and they wave their Trump flag, but really, they're loyalists. Okay? And, and James, James Freeman, shout out to you. James brings up a good point because people say, well, they're bleeding us dry. They're bleeding us dry. And, and look, the problem with that, again, is us, right? It's you. Everyone who supports the government restricting immigration and says, oh, we don't want the, them coming here because they'll take away our stuff. You're a socialist. You're not a patriot. You're a socialist. What you're saying is, I support the government theft and redistribution of wealth as long as it's going to me, but I want other people to present, be prevented from coming here. See, the USA is headed the direction of Venezuela. The USA is a socialist country. Only socialist and fascist nations need to restrict their border. And absolutely, the border is 100% an open door. That's called freedom. It's called right to travel. Every man, woman, and child on the planet has the right to do it. The Constitution affirms it. The Constitution of Mexico affirms it. These are basic human rights, and anybody who supports freedom understands it. I understand that some of you haven't come to this yet, but I'm presenting you facts. And if you can't address those facts with anything but your fear and your NWO propaganda, you have two choices. You can be a loyalist, or you can change, like I did. These are not invasions, but taxation's an invasion. That's right. So it's interesting. As people literally devour the propaganda, and we're going to see this a lot in the next couple of days, uh, Mako, Trump said, oh, Mako is going to stop them at the border. They didn't. The immigrants have knocked down the gate at the border, which understand that there's rarely, that what they did, there's not a wall on the Mexican-Guatemalan border. They had to go to a bridge where they were headed and build a gate there to block them because the Mexican-Guatemalan border is an open border. There's no wall. It doesn't exist. There's a cow fence. So what they did is they were coming across this bridge and they built a barrier on the bridge. Normally, people from Guatemala just come and go freely across the Mexican border. So don't listen to the NWO globalists that want walls and that want people kidnapped and robbed and all this stuff. Uh, they're socialists. That's what they are. They're not patriots. They don't love freedom. They don't love the Constitution. They're socialists. What they're really saying is we want our own little box. We want to be locked in our walls and have free stuff. And so we don't want other people let in to have our free stuff. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't think the immigrants should be given free stuff by the government either. Government has no right to steal stuff and redistribute it. These government are thugs. They're robbers. They are thieves. Someone who tells you you need permission and a paper from government. And, and look, I'm down here in Mexico, right? I have to see this from the immigrant side. The USA is worse, of course, but what happened today was directly from bribes from the USA to get Mexico to abuse these people's human rights, and they said, no, we're not going to take it. They ripped down the fence, and they kept on going, and that's what all freedom lovers, any freedom lover that saw these videos I just showed you about these immigrants ignoring these illegal human abuses, because there's no such thing as an illegal immigrant, not in human rights, not in the Constitution. The people using the word an illegal immigrant, they're just repeating the pro propaganda of the globalist NWO. That's all there is to it, guys. That's all there is to it. You've got to understand, you either support freedom for everyone or you're a fascist. You can't just support freedom for you. You can't say, I'm better. I support freedom for me. That means, that's, that's called being a Nazi, guys. And that's what, what the USA is becoming. It's New Berlin. So if you're a New Berliner and you support the walls and you support people going to jail because they didn't have permission from government to live, you have a mental problem. You're not a freedom lover. Thanks, Cecil. You're not a freedom lover if you support people being stopped, arrested, tear gassed. And you know what happened? The, the, the government on behest, because this, this was extreme, right? Mexicans, I think, are going to be outraged by this. The Mexican news is already covering this, and they're not making the immigrants out to be the bad guys. The behavior of the Mexican government at the border today was unacceptable. They had no right to try and stop those people, and they certainly had no right 
to push it. There's word that they actually used some tear gas and stuff. And when the police at that border today started using tear gas, the people started throwing rocks and sticks back at them. And as you can see in the video I just showed you, they pushed them out of the way and they kept going. Okay? This isn't about not having a national identity. This is about not being a fascist nation. And if you support walls, support prisons for immigrants because they didn't have permission from government. That, the very, I can't even believe I have to say it. Right? I can't even believe I was once so dumb that I thought you have to have permission from government to live in a country, to work, and to feed your family. The very idea of that for someone who thinks they understand freedom is ludicrous. And if you still think that, if what you saw, right, let me show you one more time before we wrap up today. Thanks, James. Appreciate it. If this right here, if these immigrants rushing through the border and ignoring these treasonous people who are trying to violate their rights, if that makes you angry about the freedom fighters who ran the border fence, then you don't love freedom. You have no concept of what freedom looks like. So it's okay, guys. If you hate freedom, you can unsubscribe from this channel. I'm not, I'm not here to tickle your ears. I'm not here to give you the party line from the left or from the right. I'm here to talk about freedom. Should there be socialist programs? No, but those shouldn't exist. Those are theft. The government socialism like we have in the USA, the USA is a socialist nation. It's socio-fascist. It's, it's not a capitalist country. Half the country is living on the government dole in one way or the other, you guys. So who's becoming like Venezuela, who's headed down that road, is the USA. That's where socialism ends. People having the right to freely travel, to live, to work, to protect their families, to speak their mind... That's beautiful. That's freedom. And if you don't support it, it's you that has a mental illness. And I'm really here. I understand. Look, I've been there, guys. I know it's easy to believe the propaganda. I know we've been told this stuff all our lives, but it's a lie. It's a lie. Okay? So for all the people who think they're macho in here because they're like, unsub. Unsub from freedom. That's fine. Become a new Berliner. Cheer your walls and your cages and forge your chains because that is what you will get. If freedom is only for you, if justice is only what you say, if security is walls to lock you in and chains to tie you down, then may your chains rest lightly upon you. I prefer to fight for freedom. Don't let the frauds and patriots, and I hope you guys will go out from here today. There's going to be a lot of media rhetoric. I hope you guys will take the time, every time you see somebody saying these immigrants are criminals and terrorists. The criminals and terrorists are the ones trying to stop them. Donald Trump is the blue ISIS thug. The, the, the thug cops trying to keep them from crossing borders. Those are the criminals and terrorists. And I hope you will take the time to call out all of your friends that are supporting the fascism. If anyone can make a rational argument, I've just presented you history, I've presented you law, human rights, constitutions from multiple countries, and basic common sense. If you guys can't make a rational argument, then don't even comment. All you can resist this with, you're so steeped. I'm speaking, of course, to those who think I'm crazy for telling you this truth. You're so steeped in cognitive dissonance of the parties and the faction and the propaganda that you can't even see freedom when it's sitting on a video right in front of you. These people exercise their right to travel today. No government has the right to tell us we can't travel move into a house, work to feed our family, or live like human beings. It's time to stop being treated like cattle. I don't care where we are in the world. No more cattle. JN, thanks. And so for the, the people with their straw man arguments like, oh, you have a wall at your house or there's a fence on your property, you know what? If you take a piece of property out of nature for you and your family, you absolutely have a right to have some say over what goes on there and to build a fence around it, all right? You do. But your country is not your private property. A nation, the land, the world that God created was created for beneficial use. And anyone has a right to travel and live. As long as they're not violating your rights, your own property. Not, not the whole country that you claimed that you, that you took from Native Americans or whatever history goes along with each of our respective countries, right? People have a right to use the land. It doesn't belong to government. And so it's mind-blowing that we've come to a place where patriotism is actually worshiping the government and saying, 
Government has a right to control our travel. Government has a right to say whether we can work. Government has a right to say whether we, cannot be, whether we can move freely. Otherwise, we go to prison. If you think that way, you truly think like a slave. And I pity you. I pity you because you're not a patriot. You're just a fascist propaganda slave of the NWO. Guys, I'm going to close out for today. I love you guys. Keep speaking out. Keep, keep, even the people that think I'm a little crazy, right? Just stop and think about what I'm saying. Think about human rights for a minute. Because if I had heard this message I'm giving right now 10 years ago, I would have been skeptical too. But I learned about freedom, and I hope you guys will too. I hope you'll share this. I hope you'll spread it. And I hope you'll take the time when you see all these things coming through your news feed today to take the time to tell people the truth that we talked about here today and not them, let them just get away with their lies, with their absurd conspiracy theories about how Soros is paying all these immigrants or how they have no right to travel or they should be imprisoned or they should be shot. Mentally ill people need to be helped by telling them the truth. All right, you guys, peace. Love your neighbor. Stand up. Resist.